Okay, so this is the test of uh, the, uh, uh, this is one of many different Ferrari headlap motors made by Bosch. It actually has the Bosch number on it right there. The unit is discontinued. Uh, you can see that what we've done is we've drilled off all of the origin, original swag die cast rivets around the perimeter to be able to lift the lid off. And inside uh, the culprit on this particular unit is this gasket which was originally a rubberized coated gasket. And this rubberized material just gets old after a while, falls off inside of the uh, commutator brush mechanism on the inside of the unit here. And actually between the uh, spring-loaded three contacts, right directly underneath these three terminals here, uh, and the flat steel plate that rotates with the motor, uh, this rubberized stuff is actually fused onto the plate as an insulator and completely ruins the function of this of the unit it's all cleaned off now we put self-tapping screws back in to hold the lid on and we've also replaced the diodes on the inside diodes one-way no return valves for electricity here uh that were part of the original arrangement here this originally completely filled with the same uh, uh goop uh which is uh, gray silicon rubber because this thing's exposed to the water underneath the car. They want to make sure no water gets inside and rusts the stupidly made uh, metal plate on the inside. Everything in there is clean, new gasket, screwed together, new high-quality diodes. In These aren't Mofset, are they? What? What's, no, they're uh, what do you call? shop key. Say it again? Shop key. Shop key diodes, which uh, in this case, I think they're 10 amps, aren't they? They're a 10-amp. They're a 10-amp load. I mean, the original diodes in here were like a half an amp or something, nothing at all. So these diodes will be able to cover this again in the end. Now, we've attached a piece of uh, tape to the back end of the motor so that you can see this operate. Uh, we have it uh, rigged up here just as the switch in the automobile would have rigged it. So, uh, Joe, go ahead and, and, and operate this. You can see that the motor spins and stops on its own. Now go ahead and hit the other one. Again, you set the other terminal just as the switch would do. It stops once it's raised. It stops once it's lowered. Going back and forth, you can see that the unit is totally functional, automatically stopping when it's up, automatically stopping when it's down. So we've done that to this motor, and I think we got a pair on this particular one. On this motor as well, both of them operate identically. We're in. Thank you for watching.